Hello and welcome. In this workshop, we will generate a simulation ready mesh for a generic finned tube cross flow heat exchanger using the ANSYS Fluent Meshing Watertight Geometry workflow for a conjugate heat transfer analysis. During the workshop, we will explore how to set up periodic boundaries and how to use the transform volume mesh task. Let's get started. Finned tube heat exchangers consists of an array of tubes, each attached with multiple closely spaced fins for enhancing the heat transfer. The heat transfer occurs between the fluid flowing through the tubes and an external fluid flowing across in a direction perpendicular to the orientation of the tubes. The generic finned tube heat exchanger geometry we have here consists of tubes arranged in a staggered layout. Due to the repeating pattern of the geometry in both the directions perpendicular to the external flow, we can reduce the computational domain by modeling only a section of the whole geometry. We will be assigning periodic boundary condition to faces perpendicular to the y-axis and symmetry boundary conditions to faces perpendicular to the z-axis. This model will be used for simulating the heat transfer between the fluids occurring through the fins and tube walls. Instead of modeling the flow inside the tubes, a constant temperature or constant heat flux boundary condition may be used at the tube walls which reduces the computational effort involved in solving the model since no internal fluid regions are required. However, the fluid flow over the fins and the tubes needs to be modeled and hence the external fluid flow regions are included in the computational domain. Let's now look at how to mesh this model. Launch ANSYS Fluent in meshing mode. Once Fluent meshing is launched, select watertight geometry workflow. In the import geometry task, leave all the settings to default and load the provided geometry file. Next, retain the would you like to add local sizing option to no in the add local sizing task. We will be specifying the mesh size controls in the generate the surface mesh task. In this task, change the minimum and maximum size to 0.2 mm and 3 mm respectively. Change the cells per gap to 2 and set proximity based refinement to faces to resolve the thin fins accurately. Keeping the rest of the settings to default, click on generate the surface mesh. Once the surface mesh has been generated, we will now set up the periodic boundaries. Right click on the generate the surface mesh task, go to insert new task and select set up periodic boundaries which will insert the task in the workflow. We will assign the translational type of periodicity using the automatic method. Select the two sides, side 1 and side 2 and click on set up periodic boundaries. ANSYS Fluent Meshing supports translational periodicity only in one direction and is conformal in nature. For cases in which multiple translational periodicities need to be assigned, conformal translational periodics using fluent meshing need to be set up in one of the directions and non-conformal periodics need to be set up in the other directions in the fluent solver. Next, in the describe geometry task, set the geometry type to both fluid and solid regions. There is no need to cap any openings or apply share topology as they have been dealt with during the CAD creation stage. We would like to change all fluid fluid boundary types from wall to internal to allow for flow to occur across fluid regions. In the update boundaries task, notice that the side 1 and side 2 boundaries are assigned periodic and shadow boundary types as we had defined them as periodic boundaries earlier in the workflow. The bottom and the top boundaries, which are perpendicular to the z-axis, need to be assigned the symmetry boundary type. After the boundaries are updated, the update regions task estimates 18 fluid regions because the entire fluid region in the geometry is split into many parts. 
Therefore, it was important to change all fluid fluid boundary types from wall to internal in the described geometry task. Even though all the fluid regions were collectively named as fluid during geometry preparation, the update regions task lists each fluid region with fluid as the root name with a number appended to it. Same is true for the solid regions as well. There are no changes to be made in this task, so we will execute it and move on to defining the boundary layers. Set Add Boundary Layers option to Yes. We will use the default smooth transition method to grow the boundary layer mesh from all the walls in the fluid region. Leave the settings to the default and select Add Boundary Layers button to execute the task. In the conjugate heat transfer analysis, it is recommended to add one or two layers of boundary layer mesh in the solid regions to avoid large cell jumps and to better capture the gradients. We will add one layer of boundary layer mesh in the solid regions at the solid fluid interfaces with all other settings kept at default. Now we are ready to generate the volume mesh. In this demo, we will use the polyhex core fill with method to fill the core of the fluid volume with hexahedral cells which are connected to boundary layer mesh through polyhedral cells. Ensure that mesh solid regions option is ticked in order for the algorithm to create mesh in the solid regions of the model. The min cell length and max cell length values are automatically populated based on the previously defined local and global sizing controls and are sufficient for our purpose. Hit the generate the volume mesh button to create the volume mesh. The generated mesh has a total of approximately 1.72 million cells with a mesh quality of 0.21. The volume mesh can be inspected using the help of clipping planes. Next, we will demonstrate how to translate the model using the transform volume mesh task. The geometry was created with the origin located away from the inlet below the location of the first tube. For convenience, we want to move the origin to the beginning of the inlet as shown. To do this, right click on generate the volume mesh task Go to Insert New Task and select Transform Volume Mesh. Retain the transform type to Translational and select Manual Method. Select all the objects in the list and enter the appropriate values in the Translational Shift input. In our case, the model is shifted by 70 mm in the X direction and 1.5 mm in the negative Z direction. Select no only translate for create copy and translate option and click transform mesh button. This will shift the model by the value specified in the task. The model is ready to be exported to the fluent solver. This brings us to the end of the workshop.